when your faith cannot produce optimal result, there are some, there is a missing link somewhere in that faith equation that is making the faith not to produce the optimal result that it is supposed to produce. Therefore, we need to look for those missing links and then we sort it out. Matthew chapter 17, I'm going to read from verse 14 and show you a very interesting story. Matthew chapter 17 from verse 14. Matthew 17 from verse 14. He says, he said, and when come to the multitude, there came to him a certain man, kneeling down to him and saying, Lord, have mercy on my son, for he is a lunatic and so vest. For of time he falleth into the fire, and of time into the water. And I brought him to the disciples that they, and they could not cure him. Then Jesus answered and said, O faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him either to me. And Jesus rebuked the devil, and the he departed out of him, and the child was cured from that very hour. And the disciples put Jesus apart, and they said, Why could we not cast him out? And Jesus said unto them, Because of your unbelief. For verily I say unto you that if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, Remove hands to yonder place, and it shall be moved. And nothing shall be impossible unto you. How be it? This kind goeth not out, but by prayer. And by fasting. People of God, this is a very interesting story. They brought a boy who was possessed with demon to the disciples of Jesus. And the disciples, they say, forget about it. We, we know what our master usually do. He will stretch his hand like this and the demon will come out. Bring the boy here. Come out! Come out! The Bible said the demon didn't go anywhere. And when they have tried the futility, nothing work. Jesus came. And the father of the boy made Jesus and said, excuse me, sir. Man of God, I brought this boy to your disciples. They have been praying here. Nothing has worked. Nothing has worked, sir. Please help me, sir. Help me, sir. And the Bible says, Jesus looked at the disciples and shook his head. And with just one snap of the finger, pew, the boy was free. And the demon, pew, get out of the boy. And then the disciples, they began to wonder. They said, excuse me, sir. How come we could not do this? Remind me many years ago, um, when some of our, my, the sons of the Bible in our ministry, they were praying for a girl that was demon-possessed. Come out! That girl would look at them and say, I'm going nowhere. They were sweating and struggling. And then I came back later and they told me what. I said, what? Now, you foul spirit. Out in the name of Jesus. And the spirit check out with the, just one scream. My God. From anger in my spirit. Out. The spirit check out. And they were looking at me like, man of God, what is happening? We have been praying since it did not work. Because there is a missing link in your faith equation. <laughs> Jesus said to the disciples, he said, look at this. The problem is not that the demon cannot obey you. The problem is that there are some missing link. Number one, he said there is element of unbelief in your belief. Number two, your personal prayer and fasting life needs servicing. He said, this kind goeth not except by prayer and fasting. Unbelief is not just the act of not believing God. It also includes not believing enough. You can believe and not believe enough. And it also includes the wrong belief. Because when you believe the wrong thing, you will see the wrong results. Jesus said to them, he said, the problem is this. You, you, your belief is not enough. You believe, oh, but it's not enough. And then your personal prayer and fasting life is, is, there is something wrong with it. You are eating too much, man of God. You can't see the result that you are looking for. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, Jesus was telling them that the reason why your faith could not work is because there are some missing link in your faith. And look at the missing link. Number one, number two, number three. You need to put it. So, Jesus was challenging the disciples to, 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 to work on their belief level, work on their prayer life, and to work on their fasting life. Child of God, I say this again, anytime you say you have faith and your faith did not work, it's not that you do not have faith, but there are some missing link in your faith equation. You need to detect the missing link. And once you are able to sort out the missing link, no wonder when Jesus left the earth, in Acts of the Apostle chapter 1, the disciples, they gathered in fasting and prayer on the upper room. They prayed until when he got to out of Apostle chapter 2, they prayed on the heaven fair. The heaven opened and the Holy Ghost came. Here, and these men rose up and they became, mm, they became workers of miracles, signs and wonders because the missing link of their faith <laughs> was settled. It was settled. It was settled. So, you need to ask yourself. Because faith is meant to work. There is nothing like I tried, my faith did not work. 
if your faith fails, there's a missing link somewhere. That missing link is making the equation not to be balanced. He's making it. He's making the. It's like a man standing with one leg. If you stand with one leg, even if you manage it, can you walk with one leg? You will only up. There's a missing leg that needs to touch the ground for you to walk majestically. I wish I'm talking to somebody now. So, anytime your faith is not producing optimal results, it's because there is a missing link somewhere in your faith equation that needs to be, that needs to be settled, that needs to be added. That needs to be added for you to see the result. Check the record in. For you to see the result, to get the kind of result that you want to see, there is a missing link somewhere that needs to be settled. That needs to be settled. Now, people of God, the question is this now. What are some of the um, 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 missing link that could have happened to the disciples? There, you don't look at them and say, no, 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 there's a problem somewhere. There is insufficient conviction level in the miraculous and deliverance. There is insufficient conviction level insufficient. Your conviction is not sufficient. Your conviction is not enough. There is insufficient conviction level in the miraculous and in the deliverance. The conviction that you carry is not sufficient for what you are looking for. Jesus said to them also, he said there is insufficient personal spiritual experience because of your lack of prayer and fasting. There is insufficient personal prayer and fasting life because of your lack and of prayer and fasting as a person. Now, I said this to you that there's no Christian that can walk in optimum faith without a prayer life. Sir, don't deceive yourself. Prayer is what fires your faith. What are you talking about? You can't drive a, a car with NG without fuel. Even though the NG is there as your faith, prayer is what fires the NG. You, can, you, can, you, can, you, can, you cannot live without prayer. A prayerless life is a faith life that will still aspire. Maya la da baya. A prayerless life is a faith life that will still aspire. Very soon, you begin to doubt what you once believed because this kind goeth not by prayer and fasting. There are some dimension of virtue you cannot enter until you have a prayer life. I mean, a personal prayer life, not a corporate prayer life that you pray in church. A personal Abba Father when you are alone with God. My God. This was the missing link. So, it's not a criticism that Jesus gave to them. It was not criticism. It, it was an eye opener for them to know that there is a missing link that they need to face. Fixing their faith life if they want to operate like Jesus Christ. The same way, when we release our faith as believers and we cannot see so much result as we desire, we need to find out what our missing link is and then we need to fix those missing link. For example, your faith life cannot produce ultimately. If you speak words contrary to your faith, I talked about that before. You can't believe one thing and say another thing. You can't say I'm believing God for a miracle and then you say, My God, this is my life is just a useless life. Because your word ultimately will counter your faith. It's a missing need for many believers. Many believers, they have not tamed their tongue. Some have tamed their appetite. Some have tamed their sexual urge, but they have not tamed their tongue. And the Bible tells us in the book of James, it says the tongue is a very little member of your body, but yet it can, it can shipwreck your entire destiny. Therefore, the missing link of many people's faith is in their tongue. They speak anti-faith words. They speak words that condemn them. They speak words that wreck their destiny. And they are looking for the devil that is pursuing them. No devil is pursuing them. It is their words. That is speaking against them. We cannot be trusting God for healing and be confessing pain and backache. Man of God, this headache wants to kill me. I thought we just pray now that you are healed. Man of God, I, I, this sickness wants to finish me. I just we just de I thought we just declared now that you are healed because you are said it with your mouth that you are healed, but now you are using your mouth to destroy everything. It's a missing link. Until your confession is handled, you will choke your faith and you cause your faith to be unfruitful. This could be our missing link. That our faith and our words, they do not align with each other. It could be a missing link. Another missing link that we may have as believers is that a missing link could be that we trust in men as our source rather than God. I've seen a lot of Christians that the only thing on their head is man, 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 uh, man, 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 man. I wish I have a man. I wish I have a husband. I wish I have a fiancé. I wish I have a helper. I wish I... They, they have that over men mentality that make God totally irrelevant in their life. They are so much conditioned their mentality to men. 
people of God. Men are channel, but men can never be your source. If man is your source, in the day of battle, you'll be naked. Because every man has his own problem that is looking for who we saw for him. <laughs> Even the man you want to run to, he has his own problem. Only God has the ability and the capacity to face every challenge that comes your way. Child of God, when the storm of life hits you, if there is no Jesus in your boat, you will sink. You didn't hear me now. When the storm of life hits you, if there is no Jesus, when you are possessed with a I need a man mentality, your faith life becomes limited. In the book of John chapter 1, chapter 5, there's a very interesting story there. John chapter 5, for verse 1. It's, After this, there was a feast of the Jews. And Jesus went up to Jerusalem. And there is at Jerusalem by the sheep market, a pool, which is called in the Hebrew tongue Bethesda, having five porches. In this lay the great multitude of important folks, of blind, art, without, waiting for the moving of the water. For an angel of the Lord went down a certain season into the pool, and troubled the water. Whosoever then first after the trouble of the water stepped in, was made whole of whatever disease he had. Verse 5. A certain man was there, which had an infirmity thirty and eight years. When Jesus saw him lie, he knew he has been there for such a long time, he said to him, Will thou be made whole? You know what the man told him? The important man said to him, I have no man. I have no man. Child of God, this man is a typology of many believers today. I have no man mentality. I've finished many Christians. I have no man. I have. Jesus was face to face with the man saying, Oh God, do you want to be healed? He said, I have no man. No. Man of God, I have no man. No. I have no empire in my life. No. I have nobody in my life. No. When you have an I have no man mentality, even in the presence of God, you will not get a miracle. The man was locked up in 38 years stagnation because he had the I have no man mentality. Jesus had to fix it. I said, what are you talking about? Come in your bed and go back home. Men are simply channels. I'm not trying to make men irrelevant. I'm trying to say that God is the one you need. Men are the channels. Men can change, but God does not change. God is our only source. Men are the channels that God uses. Mm. His person and his word, both guided by his integrity and his faithfulness, should be our source of confidence. We must plant our confidence in the person of God, plant our confidence in the word of God, because those are the two surest areas of, that we are very sure that will never fail us, irrespective of time, season, and location. God will not fail. And heaven and earth will pass away, but his word will remain the same. So, we may need to go back into prayers now after this session today and ask the Holy Ghost to show us the areas that our faith is, is our, the missing link of our faith is. Holy Ghost, show me the areas I need, that I'm missing it. Is it my prayer life that's making my faith not to work? Is it that my giving life? Is it my confession? What is the What are the areas in my life, Holy Ghost, that there is a missing link that is making my faith not to produce? We may go back to the Holy Ghost, but it is very certain that when you release faith and there's no result, God cannot be a liar. There is a missing link somewhere that's making your faith not to produce ultimately. Now, I want to show you something. Second Peter chapter 1 from verse 4 to 9. And then, I'll pray for you. Second Peter chapter 4. Thank you, Holy Ghost. So, the, there is a missing link. Mm. There is a missing link that needs to be handled for us to be able to walk in the fullness of our faith. Second Peter chapter 1 from verse 4 to 9. Mm. He said, He said, We are by a given unto us a seeding great and precious promises that by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in this world through lust. And beside this, giving us diligence, add to your faith virtue, add to virtue knowledge, add to knowledge temperance, to temperance patience, to patience godliness. To godliness, brotherly kindness. To brotherly kindness, charity. For if these things be in you and you abound, they make you that you shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. There are many things to add. He say, add to your faith knowledge. So it could be that your knowledge is deficient. You are, a, you, are, you are genuine as a Christian, but you don't really know enough. And only those that know their God shall be strong and do explore. He say, add to your knowledge. Put temperance to your faith. Put patience. Put godliness. You may need to go and ask the Holy Ghost. There are several additions that we need to add. 
if our faith is going to produce optimally for us as believers. We need to go to the Holy Ghost and ask him, Holy Ghost, what is the missing link in my faith equation? What is that one thing that is missing? What is that two things that are missing? What are those three things that are missing for my faith to produce optimally? And then we must trust God to open our eyes of understanding to see them so that we can walk in the reality of this. But I want to assure you this, that when all things are right, faith works. When all things are balanced, faith is sure to work. Faith does not fail. No, sir. No, sir. Because faith is built on the integrity of God and his word. So it is bound to work. Anytime your faith fails, is a proof to show that there is something missing somewhere that needs to be covered up. And then you go to the Holy Ghost and ask him, Holy Ghost, open my eyes to see Open my heart of understanding. Show me, Holy Ghost, where that missing leak is. Show me, Holy Ghost, what is missing, missing in my life. Show me where I need to patch up. Show me where I need to work on, Holy Ghost. My prayer for you is that in the name of Jesus Christ, that any area that your faith is missing it, God will open your eyes to see it. And after this school of faith, you are going to walk into dimensions of result that will shock you. That those that knew you before will say, what kind of new dimension is this? We have known you for years. We have never seen you operate this kind of dimension. And you tell them that the Lord has opened your eyes to see where you are missing it. You will not miss it anymore. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, hallelujah. I want to pray for you wherever you are watching from. I want to decree and declare in the name that is above every other name. That every area that your faith is missing in me, the Lord, open your eyes to see it. Your faith will not fail. You will not fail in the place of faith. In the mighty name of Jesus. Your faith will produce optimally. You will walk in signs. You will walk in wonders. You will walk in the miraculous. And the Lord will be glorified in your life. In the mighty name of of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen and amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I want to thank God for everyone of us that have been part of our school of faith today. Um, class 1, class 2, class 3, class 4. Ah, my God. What, what an overdose of God's food today. I'm, I'm so blessed and I hope you are blessed. Tomorrow we are continuing our school of faith. By 9 a.m. we are going to be going further in our school of faith. Make sure you plan your schedule to join us in our school of faith tomorrow by 9 a.m. in the morning. The Lord bless you. The Lord perfect all that concerns you. Have a wonderful day ahead. And all your expectation, the Lord will meet you at the point of your need in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Shalom.